Hey there, Aries. Welcome back. This is Renee. Uh, this is going to be a general reading. We're going to take a look at your energies and see what is going on. So let's get into it. And of course, if this resonates, like, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. Let's get some energy for Aries. Energy for Aries, please. What's going on? True love. Wow. This is the romance of a lifetime. So there may be new love coming in for you, Aries. Okay? Look at this. At the bottom we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You know? So you may be led to, you know, um, make some kind of action towards this love that's coming in. Let's get some more energy for Aries. Message for Aries, please. What do we have? This one. Okay. Yeah, mending. Number 52. So you may have recently went through some kind of healing process. Uh, you may be currently healing. We also have tribe on the bottom. The number 8. So you may be you know, hanging out with friends, being social, just, you know, being part of the group, right? Um, so let's get some more energy. Let's see. Energy. Wow, this one wanna come out right away. So we have bright ideas. Archangel Urel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Definitely. So you may have new ideas at the moment. You know, you may have this clairvoyance that, you know, is urging you to pay attention to your thoughts and ideas um, so that you can bring those to life, bring those to your reality. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot for Aries. What's going on with Aries, please? going on for Aries, please. General reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All placements. Okay. What's going on with Aries, please? Message for Aries. I'm really getting that um, there may be an idea that you're working on. There may be something that you're trying to bring to life, right? Um, but I feel like you're just, you're in the beginning processes of this. And I feel like you're kind of moving past the feeling of this may not work out. That may be the reason why we have this mending card here, because I feel like Maybe you haven't tried an idea in the past and it just didn't work the way that you thought it would. Um, so you are kind of working through that again. Yeah, definitely. Your current energy is the hangman, right? We have the six of cups. We have the four of swords. We have the four of cups and the temperance. Definitely. I definitely feel like you were working on something in the past and you were waiting for it to flourish. You were waiting for it to blossom and it just may not have gotten to where you really wanted it. Okay. Um, but I feel like you're still in, in that thinking mode, trying to become aware, trying to look at things from a different perspective. Um, this could resonate wherever in your life it feels right okay but i feel like you're you're pouring out these ideas these ideas are coming towards you okay they're coming towards you and i feel like you have a lot of patience you're really working things out okay so i, I feel like whatever ideas if this is an idea some kind of job opportunity some kind of venture that you're working on i feel like it's something that you're working out Right now, if this is a love situation, I feel like 
you're definitely working on yourself. You're taking time out to relax, put in time for yourself, take care of yourself, do that self-love. But I feel like someone else is noticing that energy. I feel like someone maybe from the past or this may be a gift of love that's coming in here with this true love right here. You know, I feel like this is someone that you may be familiar with, but it's it's going in a totally different direction than what you expected. OK, but I feel like you are really trying to think things through. You may be taking a lot of time out to, you know, really try to become aware of how you feel where you want things to go and how you kind of see yourself in the future okay i feel like you're making plans you're kind of looking at all aspects of the situation you know and it has you really thinking really wondering how things will be and i feel like you you know this is the near future here so i feel like there's there's things that you're going to pursue and there's things that you're going to go ahead and have patience and maybe pursue later. We do have the King of Cups on the bottom. So definitely some kind of offer coming through for you that you may not be expecting. Right. This King of Cups is pouring out his emotions to you. And I feel like you're letting your guard down, you know, with this. Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like you're not blocked from the situation. I feel like you are totally spellbound with this King of Cups energy. Your, your walls are like coming down. They're like rolling down. You know, you're not afraid. You're letting go. You're ready to pursue whatever the situation is. You're ready to bring this to reality. You know, because I feel like this King of Cups here... He finds you very attractive. You know, he finds you very appealing. He feels like you have it all. Right, Aries? And I, I feel like he's definitely coming forward for you. Okay? So let's get another deck and see what else is coming forward for Aries. I apologize, Aries. My nose is like, you know, all up in the air right now. I don't know, something about the allergies or something. Whew. Okay, with the Four of Swords, we have the Devil card. So I definitely feel like, you know, this is Capricorn energy here. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. You may be surrounded by Capricorn energy at the moment. Or there may be just these energies that you're trying to work through. You're trying to get past the negativity all you know there may be something that you're trying to work out something that you're trying to kick the habit of you know um but we do have the sun for the six of cups so i feel like you're going from the shadow self to your light right you're going from this shadow to this happiness to this beaming light this success that's coming your way. This Six of Cups energy is a really big surprise for you. It's something that you're going to really be happy about. You, it may bring you success and abundance. Um, but I feel like it's definitely something that is coming through that you really don't know where the situation is going to go until it takes you there. Okay? Let's take a look at this hangman energy. Give me a message for this hangman, please. What is this spirit? Give me a message for the hangman. The hermit. Yeah. So I feel like whatever thoughts that you're pursuing, I feel like you're trying to gain wisdom. You're trying to work out these, you know, these thoughts, these emotions, this perspective that you're trying to work through i feel like you are you're taking time out to really think what this means you, you're gaining some kind of awareness some kind of wisdom from the situation with the four of cups we have the queen of pentacles so i definitely feel like there's some idea that you're pouring out that's going to be very um successful that's going to bring you a lot of abundance um, I feel like this is something that's a really solid offer um, that you may be pursuing because of these ideas. 
Um, or this could also be someone coming through that wants some kind of commitment from you, that wants you to accept their opportunity. You know, I feel like it's something that may be leading you to some kind of increase. Um, maybe even a job promotion if you're in a job. But I feel like this is a very solid offer. This is something that you're kind of really thinking about pursuing. You're really thinking about jumping on this idea. Maybe throwing it things against the wall to see what sticks. And I feel like, you know, one of those ideas that you throw against the wall is going to be very successful. Okay, for the temperance, we have the Ten of Cups. Definitely, so definitely success, abundance. Look at this, we have the Sun, we have the Ten of Cups. You know, so you're moving from this dark period and you're moving into the light. You're moving into happiness, abundance. Okay, and I feel like it's something that you've been working on for a while. It's something that you've had a lot of patience in. You've waited for this opportunity to happen. Okay, so beautiful. Let's get some more energy. Tell me more about this devil energy. Tell me more about this devil energy spirit. Give me a message for this devil energy. <clears throat> the two of cups and the three of pentacles so there may be someone that that you're going to team up with someone that you're going to partner up with um that's going to have maybe more ideas than you have um this also may be you seeking some kind of help or guidance to get through the situation if it has to deal with some kind of addiction or some kind of negative energy i feel like this is you know this partnership this um collaboration that you're doing is maybe the start of something beautiful with the sun card tell me about the sun card Give me a message about this sun card. Messages for the sun, please. Yeah, the magician. Wow. And the four of swords. So it's something that you feel like that you couldn't really work on alone. It's something that you needed to do with this partnership. You needed to pursue it with that because it wasn't coming into you know, fruition. It wasn't being totally manifested when you brought, when you was trying to do it on your own, right? So I feel like what this is, is you got this beautiful idea that by teaming up with this person or this idea, this, you know, business opportunity, you're able to go further than if you were alone, right? So I feel like that's, wow. Wow, Aries. Okay, tell me more about this Hermit card. Give me a message for the Hermit. What wisdom and clarity. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. I feel like whatever perspective that you're pursuing you're gaining the wisdom from that because it's bringing you more stability, more balance, more longevity in the situation. So you may be seeking some kind of financial um, guidance or, you know, there may be someone that you're dealing with, maybe a partner, maybe a love, um, maybe someone close to you who are you, you are getting good advice from because I feel like you know, you're coming into this more stable situation and you're you're walking away from this feeling of lack. So you're gaining in abundance, you're gaining in stability and um, increase, right? This could also be someone who has their own business that you're working with. So they're really giving you great advice when it comes to how you can invest, how you can push forward, you know, what kind of decisions you need to make to take you out of this lack. Because I feel like with this, 
with this King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, you are going from feeling left out in the cold to having the abundance, right? So, and I feel like you're definitely pushing forward. This is going to be an opportunity that's going to bring you a lot of increase. It's going to be long-term stability here, okay? And I feel like you're totally committed to seeking out whatever this is. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles right next to it. So I feel like if this is a relationship situation, I feel like you're a power couple. You're like building each other up. So if you're getting into a relationship, I feel like you're pulling those resources together and you're like coming this force. And I feel like you want for nothing, right? With the uh, Queen of Pentacles, you have the the uh, Empress card. So definitely finding your power, finding your strength. And I feel like you are definitely more prosperous. You definitely are able to, you know, be in that manifestation mode, right? The, the Empress is very powerful, very abundant. She knows exactly what she wants and she goes out and she pursues it. If she doesn't find a idea of her own, she creates an idea and she will, you know, go to the ends of the earth until this idea is flourishing, right? She has a lot of strength, a lot of confidence and in herself and her abilities. She's able to do it all. And I feel like that's kind of the power that you're in right now. You're finding your power, Aries, right? So let's take a look at the Ten of Cups. We have the Two of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Wow. I, I feel like there's choices that you're going to be making. And I feel like those choices are leading to, you know, you having it all. You know, you're standing guard, you're defending what you what you want, what you need, what you desire. You're you're going after it. You're not giving up. You know? And I feel like, you know, you're pursuing your happiness. You're pursuing your abundance. And you have made the choice to not give up until you succeed, right? To be successful. Beautiful. See, tell me about the outcome. I'm going to move back to this one. Well, no, let's get this one down here. Tell me about the outcome for Aries. What does Aries need to do to bring this into fruition? What does Aries need to do to bring this into fruition, please? Give me a message. Okay, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the World card, wow, the Seven of Wands, and the High Priestess, definitely. Okay, so I feel like, you know, at the bottom here, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So, and I feel like it, your outcome, Aries, is to master any ideas that you're pursuing. Be the best you, you you can possibly be, whether that's in business, career, love, you know, be the best you possible. Focus on yourself, on your skills, on your intentions. You know, put a lot of time in, put a lot of effort into the situation because I feel like the effort that you put in today is going to be this good news that is coming tomorrow, right? And I feel like there's good news coming to you because this is a completion. This is something that you've accomplished. You've reached your goal, okay? So you're definitely coming into this abundance. This abundance is coming. You're having these things that you need. And you may be defending these things. You may be standing guard, okay? So I feel like with this Seven of Wands energy, I feel like, you know, you may not, you may not want to let everyone know what you're up to. You know, keep this secret. Uh, use your intuition. Use your knowledge. And seek out like-minded people who will help you raise your skills, Okay, because I feel like you're standing your ground here and I feel like you're totally on to something. There's, there's some kind of 
there's some kind of thoughts that you have that you need to really follow your intuition and just start, just make a move, use that intention and just bring whatever it is that you're manifesting to life. Okay, because what you're manifesting is going to bring you a lot of happiness. It's going to bring you a lot of abundance. Okay, so let's get a little bit more clarity. Tell me more about this Four of Swords energy. Tell me for, more about this Four of Swords. We have the Four of Swords twice in this first row. So I feel like there's definitely something that you need to take time out to do. There's definitely something within yourself that you need to focus on, right? There's some ideas or something that you really need to take time out and let those things out. You know, um, just do it. Just get started. Because I feel like with that Four of Swords energy, this could also be you kind of being lazy in the situation, just trying to relax and let things flow. But sometimes you can't just let things flow, Aries. Sometimes you have to put action behind it in order for it to get moving, right? Because it's Knight of Pentacles. This is good news coming forward for you, but this horse isn't moving. It's standing still. So this could be you kind of standing still in your situation, waiting for that good news to come to you, okay? So tell me more about this Four of Swords. Why do we have the Four of Swords twice? The Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. Yeah, just like what I was saying, Aries, in order to bring this abundance to life, you have to be willing to create it. Okay, you have to be willing to run with your idea and bring it to life, right? So it's time to just get started on a situation. It's time to just get started. Just do it. Do it already. Right? No matter if you feel like it's good or bad, just put it out there into the world. Set your intention. Okay? Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles, please. Give me a message for this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, this is going to be an offer that you really, really are going to be very passionate about. This is going to be an offer that once you start rolling with this energy, that abundance, that increase, that good news is going to start flowing and coming forward, right? This could also be someone coming forward to for you because they see how attractive, how appealing you are. So I feel like, you know, if this is a love situation, someone is coming forward for you and going to offer you some kind of stability. Someone may want some kind of commitment with you because you are the queen of wands. You know, you're very attractive. You're a go-getter. You're, you're willing to put in the work and take the time. And this really fiery, bold, assertive personality, right? You're very appealing, you know? So this could be a earth sign coming in for you, a Capricorn, uh, Taurus, or Virgo. Or this could be, you know, you standing in your power here, Aries, with Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, right? So I feel like what's coming forward is going to bring you a lot of abundance. I feel like you're going to be very surprised with this situation. Okay. Tell me about this Seven of Wands energy. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Okay. The King of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Okay. So the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups with the Seven of Wands. Look at this. Whatever this is that you're defending, whatever this is that you're standing up for, you're bringing in a lot of stability. We actually have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here. So definitely, like I said, this is a power couple. I feel like you're walking away from the things that no longer um, give you any drive, that you're not putting your emotions into, that you don't love. You know, you're walking away from those situations into that Nine of Cups energy. 
You know, you're walking away from these things that, that no longer feel good to be um, to be used. You know, things that no longer serve you, that no longer give you purpose. And I feel like you're finding abundance with this King of Pentacles energy. We've got the King of Pentacles twice already in this reading, you know, along with the Queen of Pentacles. So definitely a lot of, you know, nurturing energy, a lot of prosperous energy coming in for you. This is abundance. This is increase. This is stability, you know, longevity. This power couple that's able to, you know, be you against the world, right? With the High Priestess, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. So I definitely feel like this may be a job that you are able to walk away from. You know, this may be your nine to five that you're able to finally leave because of pursuing this dream, this intention, this, you know, following your intuition. I feel like you're able to walk away from something that kind of burdened you, you know, walk away from that nine to five and walk into more, more um, increase. Okay, tell me about this world. Tell me about this achievement, this goal that Aries is pursuing. Tell me more about this energy. What is this? The Four of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, wow, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely walking away from something. You're definitely walking away from something because you know, you know something. There's something that you figured out. There's something that you're protecting. Uh, you're holding it very dear. You're not telling everyone what you're doing, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, people are looking at you. They're watching you. They're trying to see how Aries has gotten so successful. You know, what makes Aries so appealing? Why is everybody watching what Aries does? You know, you may be on social media. You may be some kind of influencer. But I feel like, you know, someone's watching you. You may be getting a lot of views. You may be getting a lot of success. Maybe people want to collaborate you with you. They want to work with you. Okay. And I feel like you're able to pick and choose. You're able to see who is going to build Aries up, you know, and who you are going to kind of leave in the dust. Right. I feel like you're able to pick and choose who you work with, what you do, what you set your intentions on. Okay. So this is beautiful energy. I feel like you're going to be very successful in what you what you're pursuing. Okay? So, let's get the let's get an angel card for Aries and then we're going to get a monology. Okay? Let's get an angel card for Aries. What does the Aries need to know? Okay, spring, awakening. Look at this, projects, renewal. So something is definitely going to bring you a lot of renewal. This is a new beginning. This is you becoming aware of these new projects that you want to pursue. You know, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of things that you're doing at the moment. We have conception, inner self, expansion. So you're definitely growing. You're definitely expanding. You know, you're finding your passion. Aries and I feel like you're you're on you're on to something you're on to something really big you may not be aware of it just yet but one of those ideas that you have Aries is going to make you very wealthy okay one of those ideas is going to bring you abundance whether it's teaming up with someone who has like-minded uh, intentions just like you. Or whether it's putting your intentions out there. Okay? So let's get a monology card for Aries. <clears throat> we have a new start is coming. The new moon. Definitely a new beginning. 
and we have expect powerful okay so Aries let's get your angel number and then we're gonna go ahead and end this reading so what angel number do we have for Aries today okay we have five 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 change right just what we were saying change big changes you're in a powerful change change happens outside your comfort zone the time for change is now angels are whispering for you to trust your path and to learn how to walk it take the next step allow change to lift you up and guide you forward your affirmation aries I release all that no longer serve me as I am guided to move outside my comfort zone and let change in. Okay, so beautiful. That's your reading, Aries. I hope this helps you. If, if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. Comment below. I love to hear your comments. And um, if it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more. And until your next reading, Aries, many blessings to you, love and light.